who will get this game underway. The ball is struck, it's deep into the half of the Sheffield half. It was Louis Gorman playing fullback, normally a centre who took the kick off. So Sheffield have possession. Moving the ball wide at the early opportunity and it's created some running space down this left edge. Ball back inside as PLT got the legs. That looked slightly forward and it was. Spotted on the last though, will it be a kick option here for Sheffield? It is in behind. Corey Hall needs to deal with that and does. It will be a repeat set though for Sheffield, so good play. The kick behind from Corey Aston. Good weight, but Corey, Corey Hall for the Robins. Alert to the danger, so Gorman puts boots a ball. It's hanging, taken. Midway inside the Rovers half and the drive forward is by Mitch Clark. Had that one season here at Rovers and never quite lived up to the hype. His signing from Bradford offered as Sheffield put it down. Now then, I think the referee saying it was a Rovers hand that forced the mistake. You would have fancied. The son of Mark Aston feeds the scrum. The link up now to Fakray. Oh, they've cut out the wingman, Shambe, and they've gone in for the opener. The vastly experienced Ben Jones Bishop with the first try of the game just before the six-minute mark. Jones Bishop has had a distinguished rugby league career and he's shown that he knows the way to the full-time professionals. Some of these kids, even though they're only young, Sheffield though, oh they'll score, that's a good try from Joel Farrell, short snappy pass and the Robins defence is breached for the second time, around 12 metres to the left hand side of the post, once Farrell took the ball is played to Aston, he just pops it short to Joel Farrell, he's offloaded and again it's kept alive by Vila Halafihi. Sheffield still inside their own half, but Marsh linking up from full back, trying to give Wellham a running opportunity. He's got the ball out the back door to Jones Bishop and poor defence from Rovers. Sheffield with Wellham. Oh, it's been intercepted. It's senior. That looked all ends up. It was going to be try number three for Sheffield Eagles, but. Louis Senior did extremely well. So Rovers still have six tackles to go. Passing just needs to be a little bit crisper as well, doesn't it? A couple of times PLT's having to reach behind him. Here is Butterworth and PLT again. Was that touched by Sheffield? It was. The referee will give this decision to the Robins. So it's going to be PLT to feed the scrum. Out the base of Butterworth it comes. Ellis. Oh, good footwork. Oh, good ball. Oh, that's a try to Louis Gorman. Great play from two of the youngsters there. Lenny Ellis. And a good finish by the fullback, Louis Gorman. Rovers have their fans cheering for the first time this afternoon. Six minutes to the interval. They cut the Sheffield lead to 10 points to 4 a 10 nil lead could be wiped out from the Sheffield Eagles here by Rovers who are coming for the try line with AJ Wallace oh no stopping AJ Wallace he goes into the right hand side of the uprights and two tries in a matter of minutes has drawn the Robins level at 10 apiece the conversion to come AJ Wallace introduces himself to the Craven Park faithful. Eyed him up, teed him up and absolutely clattered him. Gorman. It's a spinning kick, but... Oh, I was going to say it should be a comfortable take, but it wasn't. Bad mistake from Sheffield. He is indeed. Ellis 
Good hands. Corey Hall to pass back on to Ellis. He goes for the line. And he's got there, the youngster. Third try for the Robins. The first of this second half. And, well, from 34 minutes to 43, it's been all red and white. Rovers, though, have stood firm. Good defence. Bodies on the line, that one. Looks as though they're just seeing a, enough of a gap there, Sheffield. But the danger remains. The kick in behind. Oh, it's still bouncing around. And Jones Bishop has his second. Perhaps a touch fortunate, that one. But they all count. And the Sheffield Eagles have cut the lead to 18-14. 11 second half minutes have gone so 51 on the clock just four points separating the two sides snappy pass Rovers needed to stand firm then and thankfully George King was the man in attendance PLC trying to put defensive pressure on then he shot the line and it left a bit of a gap for Sheffield to go into Rovers look skinny on their right, the Sheffield left. Which way will they go? They've come to the centre right and the kick over the top is Ben Jones Bishops. Now then, decision for the touch judge, this one. He's going to give this. It's a hat-trick try for the experienced Ben Jones Bishop. 18 apiece. You'd be hard-pressed to fancy anyone who would say that Ashton will convert this score. So quite possibly, with 20 minutes to go, we will be level in this game. 18 apiece. As I say, the conversion to come, but it's going to be a tough one in this wind. Last tackle in the set. Dawson Jones gives it to Aston. Oh, drops his shoulder and races for the line. Rovers anticipating the kick. Aston showing his experience there. He former Leeds Rhinos Academy player, wasn't he? And he darts in. Rovers just doing enough there as the ball carrier looked threatening. Made it up to the 10. They've flicked an offload out. They've got numbers here. They're going to go for the corner. Oh, did he get that down? It was a spectacular finish if he did. Great finish from Sheffield. That puts them 26-18 to the good. Flying finish. Rovers couldn't get across and deal with it. And the offloading game of Sheffield has resulted in another try and potentially seeing them emerge as victors in this pre-season game. Barney Fishwick wearing 13, brother of Zach who went in that, to that collision but thankfully they came away unscathed. That's been charged down partially and Sheffield have it with the tackle count wiped. Oh, they've kicked though straight into the Rovers' hands and I have to say it was the Grateful hands, wasn't it, of Ollie Forsyth? Oh, and now Louis Gorman. Has he got pace, this kid? He's certainly showing some. Oh, Louis Gorman goes in for Rovers. That was brilliant. He ran the perfect angle at the perfect pace. Sheffield couldn't get to him. That's his second of the afternoon, Louis Gorman. It's probably sealed his vote of man of the match. And that was a great try. 26-22 the Sheffield lead two points potentially still to come from Gorman's boot and well with six minutes remaining perhaps Rovers may be able to steal this one back 